Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Neo Plays Kigero Deception 2. Uh, let's take a look at our traps here, see what new ones we can make. Um, looks like uh, we've got a few options here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this, uh, this vase because I know that it charges really fast. It said there it has two seconds. Um, I, uh, so I want to I want to grab that, and then um, it's also pretty cheap. So we should be able to make something else after making it. Um, it actually looks like a cup. There's some more options down here. One's an oil vase. A vase drops on victim's head, blinds victim, and covers with oil. Um, okay, that uh actually sounds really good when you consider that we've been using fire arrows so I'm gonna grab that because if we can not only hit our opponents with fire arrows but also set them on fire then that sounds fantastic to me and it also has a charge time in two seconds doesn't do any damage but uh yeah that sounds good uh, so yeah let's um we get to select here which we only get three traps in a mission I'm gonna replace the vase with the oil vase I don't see any reason to have both um, and, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's exit, and then we'll go ahead and we will battle start for, uh, Chapter 3, The Pursuit of Friends. Most likely not our friends, but our victim's friends. Alright, here we see, uh, two guys in our, our home here. Hawk says, Gaston, do you think Slash was really killed? And then there's Gaston, who we, we met last time, with his huge hammer. Probably so, ellipses. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe it. He can't be dead. He he is. We killed him last episode. Uh, get a grip, Hawk. You'll get us both killed, too. Yeah. Ellipses. So, huh. We're here to avenge Slash, aren't we? Get it together. Yeah, man, get it together. Alright, here we are. Um, let's see if we can, uh... Alright, so looking at the map here, it looks like one of them's actually already to us. I'm gonna go ahead and set some traps here. Um... Let's set our Mega Rock up about there, and then, um, yeah, we're just going to stick with our regular plan. We might get a chance to use the oil base later, but it's more of a last-ditch thing since it takes so little time to load. Um, let's see. Which, uh, I figure if the Bear Trap or the Heavy Claw is better. Probably the Heavy Claw. Um, and we'll put it there. I think that should do it. We'll just have to wait for him now, uh, to come down these stairs here. Looks like he's got Gaston has two health bars. I don't know which one of them it is coming up here just yet. Uh, it's Gaston. Okay, he says, "You admit to the murder of fellow human slash." Now, why would he assume that? I guess because we're the only ones here, so I guess he would say, "I did," or ellipses. Um, so I guess I did. Then you're dead. Gaston is as articulate as his design would imply. Um, let's see, if we can trap him with our heavy claw here. And then go ahead and drop our other two traps on him. Uh, yeah, got him really hurt already, which is nice. Um, I don't know if the fire arrow actually hit him, but it looks like it'll be charged by the time he stands up, so we can fire it again. Uh, missed him, though, which is too bad. But uh, hopefully he'll follow us up here. He doesn't seem very smart, so yeah. He's uh, trapped again. Go ahead and hit him with the fire arrow. And don't even need to use the rock. It's nothing, Ripsies, he says. Um, so, uh, I looked up, oh wait, hold on, Hawk's here. You've killed my friend! Yeah, so, um, we need to try and reorder our plan a little bit here. Um, as I, uh, ponder this, I did look up the different endings to this game, and, uh, I noticed that the, um, I'm gonna set the oil vase here, see if we'll get the chance to use that. There are, there are four endings to this game, and I'm going to try and get all of them if I can. But, uh, oh, no, he uh, jumped out of the way of it. Jeez. Um, did not expect that, but he seems nimble. Um, oh, man, he's avoiding everything, isn't he? Um, oh, crap. My oil vase created an oil puddle, and I fell in it. Um, that is that is no good. Uh, yeah, okay. And we're blind now. Alright, so this is interesting. Guess we'll just uh, wander around and hope it wears off. Um, oh wait, ah, we got lucky. Okay. So anyway, like I was saying, um, there are four endings to this game, and one of them, the one we're going to go for first, is kill everybody. So basically, um, we're going to make a point of killing everyone we can. Anyone who can be killed, we are going to kill. Uh, 
Uh, okay, there. Now that time we got him, and then we'll hit him with the fire arrow, and hopefully he'll just burn to death down there. The uh, yeah, Gaston ellipses. Am I dying? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and that should be the uh, the chapter. Here we are back in the Time Note Castle. King Eclipse says, "Millennia seems to be doing well, doesn't she?" And then Yoko says, "Yes, Your Majesty." <laughs> uh, King Eclipse says, "But why do you look so concerned?" Even if she betrays us, she's limited to using traps, ellipses, as you suggested. Yeah, I thought Yoko was talking for a second because the camera changed. Ellipses. What? You aren't worried about her, are you? Well, she is our adoptive mother, dude. <laughs> like, uh, I understand. We cannot have our own children. I guess that makes sense, them being immortal. You think of her as your own child, don't you? Well... I don't, we, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, Ellipses. I am a time noid. I abandoned such feelings long ago. And there we go. Mission 3 clear. Let's take a look at our stats here. We got perfect genocide again. And this time, at the very least, perfect genocide includes more than one person. It's still a weird way to uh, indicate that we've killed everyone in the level. Um, we did it in a minute, 42 seconds. Total damage, 76. Uh, all, all this stuff. Um, look at our death info. Hawk, uh, lost stamina by live fire. <laughs> Gaston was speared by fire arrow. Uh, flames so far have been very good to us in this game. Here we, uh, see the outside of the castle. Uh, or mansion or house. Or I'm not really sure what it's meant to be. Uh, we see two new characters here. One's named Rain. She says, this is the castle. And then Gerald says, I see. It looks like some sort of TMD retreat. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. If it's a retreat, it should be deserted right now. Uh, that was a weird place of the common there. Uh, perfect for a TMD ambush. They'll never expect us here. Yeah, well, good luck with that, guys. I uh, don't think you'll find what you think. Agreed. Let's designate this castle as our battle site. What, what is he agreeing to? He was the only one talking. Rain didn't say anything about it. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, back at the uh, menu here, we're gonna, gonna make some new traps. Let's see uh, what our options here are. Um, let's see, rolling bomb. Bomb rolls out from mask and blows a victim. That sounds useful. At the same time, I've been really wanting to grab a spike rock. So let's get that first. The spike rock has um, the same charge time as the regular rock, it looks like, with 9 seconds. Uh, but it does, more. it should do more damage. I don't know exactly how much more, but definitely a... Uh, Definitely going to be an improvement. So yeah, and that took up all of our arc. So that's that's okay though. We'll uh, we'll get more this level. Um, let's see. We now we get to choose. Um, here I'm gonna choose the spike rock over the mega rock because it does five more damage and takes the same amount of time to charge. And that'll do it for us. Let's exit out, and uh, then we will go on to uh, battle start. Chapter four: Tangled Thoughts. Uh, Possibly alluding to Yokel. Alright, here we see a, a new character. He says, Gerald, tell me, do you really plan to kill the DMD? <laughs> Gerald says, Haven't you heard from Dead Moon yet? Uh, I don't know who Dead Moon is, but nothing concerning plans to kill the respected TMD. Oh, so he actually likes the TMD. We haven't seen that too much. Uh, we, Red Blood, do not respect the TMD, Gerald says. Ah, uh, jeez, these voices. I, I, I should have picked better voices. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't respect the TMD. You're crazy. TMD gave us life. I won't betray them. I really wish I knew how to do a Sean Connery impression for that character, but I, I have nothing. Wait, McLord! <laughs> uh, so McLord's coming in to warn the TMD that are probably in here. And he says, Gerald, that's strange. Why didn't he know about the mission? Why didn't he know about the mission? Yes, and it sees strange. No. Maybe we see him inside the building. What do we have here? <laughs> uh, oh, it's us. No TMD to warn, just a frail little human trespasser. Um, well, I'm not really a trespasser, but no need to worry now. I caught you red-handed. Uh, okay, so we need to set some traps. Um, let's see. I think, uh, I don't think we want to use the rock in here because it's, well, um, I cannot set a trap on a device. Oh, 
Um, can I set it there though? Yeah, there's this big swinging hook there, so that's why I couldn't set that there. Um, but I think... I don't know, I'm trying out some things here. Um, just kind of seeing if we can... If we can get him in the way of that swinging hook, that'll be really good. But, uh, I don't think we will. Um, man, I have no idea where he is, I'm just gonna drop this face here. Nope, did not, uh, did not hit him, but that's okay. Oh, crap! I, that was just me slipping on my controller. I really did mean to avoid that. Um, oh, he got hit by the freaking thing anyway. Well, that's good for us that he happened to step there. I'm going to see if we steps in the way of this bear trap. We should... No. Why do I even have the bear trap? That's not what I want. I want the um, the heavy claw. Uh, I can't I can't change it right now. It's being used, it says, but let's see if the arrow will hit him. Yep. Okay, he's gonna go down pretty easy. Thanks largely to luck on our part, but um Can I change the bear trap yet? No, it's just gonna be stuck there for a while. That's okay though. Um Oh, how do we uh how do we deal with this guy? <laughs> uh we gotta finish him off somehow. I don't really want to say anything new, but I think he's so wounded now. I just need to kind of wait for him to get in the way of the fire arrows, I guess, and we'll just take him out that way. Yeah, there he goes. Pretty, pretty easy. Ah, oh, he says. Yeah, um, so there's, there's McLord. Um, oh, I accidentally activated the bear trap again. Alright, we're back in the, the main lobby here. We see, uh, Gerald and Rain. Rain says, did you hear a scream? Is that you, McLord? Oh, wait, that's Joe. Is that you, McLord? <laughs> what happened? Alright, uh, let's see. I think... I'm gonna go meet them, uh, if I can get to them without killing myself by accident. Um, they're, uh, waiting in the lobby here. And, let's see, after, uh, this cutscene, I'll, I'll try and talk a little bit more about the, uh, the different endings. You killed the Lord! Why?! Um, so, to kill humans is my mission, or there was no choice. I think if I say there is no choice, they'll try to leave, and I don't want that, so I'll say to kill humans is my mission. And Gerald says, you're on a mission to kill humans? Are you insane? I probably, but um, okay. So now I'm going to, uh, here, I'm going to lead them on a bit of a chase and get them to come down this way so I can drop my new spike rock on them. Um, let's see, I'll put the fire arrow there just in case I get the chance to use it. And this time the heavy claw instead of the bear trap and I'll set it down here at the, the base of the stairs. Let's see if this works like I think it will. Um, did uh, something happen? It sounded like there was- oh! One of them shot an arrow at me. Okay. Um, hopefully they're far enough up that they're gonna circle around back here. Um, okay, I managed to actually hit rain here, which is good. Um, anyway, like I was saying though, uh, the, uh, the different endings are, um, like, based mo largely on decisions you make in Chapter 17, from what I've read. Uh, Gerald says, uh, Rain says, Gerald, I, Ellipses, I. Um, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna play through here and try to kill everybody. Oh, I have no idea how he got down there that quickly. Um, let's move our fire arrow now that he's down here, though. Um, move it to right there. Alright, um... So, that's what I'm going to do the first time, is kill everybody, uh, because I'm a sadist, I guess. Um, <laughs> anyway, oh jeez, he's, uh, already, already healed. No, uh, hit me. Oh well. Um, got him again though, that's good. Um, go ahead and activate both these traps. Then, uh, there are two different endings you can get based on different decisions you make in Chapter 17, and the fourth ending is just a bad ending. For if you don't uh, make either of the choices in chapter 17 and don't kill everybody. Because um, in order to make the decisions in 17, you have to let somebody go. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is just kill everybody, go all the way through, and then I'll get those other two endings, where I, that way I probably won't have to, um, to show off anything, uh, or I won't have to replay the first few levels. I'm just messing around here. I, I, He's so hurt, I don't even know what to do with him. But, uh... Anyway, can I... Uh... He might... I might be able to just shoot him with the arrow. No. Um... Like, I could move my weapons, I just kind of don't want to. 
Um, oh, jeez, he's a really good jump for somebody as hurt as he is, though. Uh, anyway, um, that should do him, though. I don't know where he is exactly, but... Oh, he avoided it. He's getting smarter. <laughs> uh, and then after I've done those three endings, though, that's when I will uh, go ahead and do the bad ending. Yeah, I, I need to move my traps. He's he's figured them out, I guess. Um, let's see, the arrow slit is just regular arrows. This press wall um, pushes objects out of its way. No, none of those sound good. Um, I don't know, I guess I can try the oil vase. Sticking it somewhere, there, whatever. Um, I don't know. Uh, hopefully he'll slip on it. And that'll, uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Damn. Did not, uh, did not go well. Oh well. He's really not a threat, though, at this point. Like, I can largely outrun him. <laughs> um, I really don't know what to do with him, though. There we go, okay. I just, it was just a matter of time to hit him with something. There he goes. Captain Keith, I'm very sorry, Ellipses. And there's Gerald. Poor Gerald. Uh, and that should be everybody. Yeah, mission four clear. Alright. And once again, perfect genocide. This time killing three people. And this number is going to go up as we, uh, as we advance. Uh, we look at our death info here. Gerald was speared by a fire arrow. McLord was speared by a fire arrow. And Rain was smashed by a spike rock. Uh, not a lot of variance to our killing techniques so far. But, uh, you don't fix what's not broken. Um, and it did take us a little bit longer there because it took me so long to kill Gerald, mostly. Uh, 3 minutes, 45 seconds. Here we are, uh, in some kind of new place, actually. Uh, oh, and Dead Moon. Uh, I have no idea what he looks like, so, uh, you've already killed 5 TMD. I need to stop doing gravelly voices. I'm gonna kill my throat. Um, I'll think of a different voice for him. Yes, sir, but the Westwoods mission hasn't returned yet, says uh, Keith. Is this Dead Moon? Yeah. If that's our only loss, we've been lucky. I changed his voice. Good work! Yes, live with it. And this is Keith's not a girl. No, that's just a girl again. Asking permission to make a search of the Westwoods, sir. Um. No, I cannot allow that. Why not, sir? If you aim to rule the country, then we should purge TMD. Um, that sounds difficult. Not necessary! It must have been quite a shock to the king that a Timeoid was killed. Yeah, they sh I thought they were immortal. Um, death is more horrible for Timeoids than for humans. The Timeoid would sooner cede control than face death. Why would that be? You would think immortals would not fear death as much, given that they've already lived impossibly long. Maybe, but TMD are immortal. Even if we take over, they'll regain power eventually, and... We emerge stronger than ever! Um, I really don't understand this logic at all. Then, Ellipses... We should guarantee victory by taking control ourselves! What are they, what are they talking about? Is that possible? <laughs> um... I, I don't know. This Dead Moon guy is trying to take over the world, I guess. Of course! And I guess those other characters were all working for him? Anyway, Hyuki says, Just as I guessed, Ellipses, Dead Moon has ties to the king. And then there's another character here that looks interesting. Key says, They've wiped out the entire army on loan from Dead Moon. And then this, this one's gotta be a girl, right? Yeah, Julia. No chance of a leak. His army knows nothing of our plans. Yes, probably. <laughs> yes, Ellipses, probably just an independent group of mercenaries. Dead Moon's a risk. He might leak our plans to the king. But he wants to rule. Why would he court the king's favor? Well, I can think of a number of reasons. Maybe his goal is ellipses. Ellipses to use the power of the TMD and obtain immortality? What? How is that possible? We're human, not TMD. <laughs> what else can it be? Anyway, we'd better split up for now. Um, Keith Ellipses. There's one thing I want to know first. What? What's that? It's about the Westwoods Castle, right? And I believe that's our castle, but that'll do it for us now with those two uh, two battles out of the way. Uh, go ahead and uh, feel free to join me next time. We're gonna 
See, uh, see more of what Dead Moon's plans are to both take over the world and become a TMD himself. Um, as well as what the TMD's machinations are with this, this Westwoods castle where they have me killing random people that happen to stumble in. Even though, uh, I really don't know why people keep coming to this place, but... Yeah, uh, join me then. We'll, uh, we'll definitely have some fun with it, though. And thank you for watching!